Hello everyone, my name is PJ and welcome back to my Let's Play of Actraiser Part 7, or more accurately, Akatura Isa! I'm not sorry. Yep, so I am now playing the ROM hack, which was patched over in the original Japanese copy of the game. So, you can bet that all of the stuff that was removed from the North American version, which does more than I thought, actually, is gonna be back in this. Now you have picked the name of the Holy Father. Okay, so... It doesn't call you God all willy-nilly, I guess. Hmm. Please- oh, there it is. Please enter God's name. Oh, well, we all know that, don't we? Anyone who's seen... Fuck, what's it called? Indiana Jones, that's it. Jehovah, spelled with an I. Are you awake, Lord Jehovah? I am the angel who will help you, now that you have lost all of your power. The earth is in ruins, and only monsters roam the lands. This is the work of the Dark Lord Satan, who stole all of your power, Lord Jehovah. In order for you to regain your power, you will need the faith and worship of the people. But first you will need to descend to earth and fight monsters so that you can make the land inhabitable for humans in the first place. Shouldn't it be inhabitable? So, wait, so there's habitable, inhabitable, and uninhabitable? I don't know. Anyway, so let's take a look at everything. Jehovah's status. Level 1. Wait, where's my life counter? Um... Okay. So, Fillmore, Bloodpool, Cassandra. Okay, so it's not called Cassandra anymore. It's called Cassandra. I figured it was a mistranslation of that. Itos, Mirana, without the H. Didn't really need it. And Northwall. So, the names of the towns are mostly identical. Although I swear I saw a video of the first town being called Filmoa. Maybe it's a different country's version. But yeah, I've watched a lot of videos about this game since I beat it yesterday. I mean, and there's no harm in it now that I've... there's no spoilers left. So I know quite a few things about the game. Record of the world? Lord Jehovah, will you record the state of the world? Oh. So I'm saving the world? That's kind of interesting. Ah, uh, wait, I just got it. <laughs> you certainly never get tired, do you? Let's work together to create the world. I can't get tired, I'm God! I might get bored. They don't have any magic. Don't have any magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no people, but I can still... Ah, oh, it's called Heaven. It's not called Sky Palace. This is literally Heaven. Okay, so is anything different? Does everything look the same? Northwall, Itos, Cassandra, Mirana. Yep, everything looks the same. I want to try something. I want to see if I can do levels out of order. Do I have to do Fillmore first? Lord Jehovah, until your level is at least two, it is too dangerous to go to this area. Really? They level locked... <sighs> they level locked the stages. Unbelievable. Okay. So I guess I have to do Fillmore first. But I'm sure if I get enough levels from the first town, then I can skip a stage or two. I don't have to do them in order. Lord Jehovah, if you defeat the monsters here, the humans will be able to begin to live in this area. Are you ready? Please be careful. I still don't know if I spelled Jehovah right. I think it's not supposed to have an H. I don't know, I've only ever seen that movie like once. Okay, so... I still have a life counter. Oop, I only have two lives. Okay. Oh, that's a, is that a new enemy? Yeah, but I saw in the screenshots that supposedly they added more, uh, brambles, I think they're called, to this level. Yeah, also I learned how to do that. If you jump and swing at the same time, you go a little bit further. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, but for this guy- oh, that, that's- that's new. With little heads. Okay, these things are creepy. Yeah, those are new. No, I'm almost dead. 
I just started and I'm almost dead. Oh dear, it didn't even give me a difficulty setting. It didn't ask me if I wanted to choose hard or normal or anything. Oh dear, this isn't good. Oh no, I'm gonna have a hard time. Well, I got a 1-up, so that's good. Half an apple. Barely did anything. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be super careful in this place. Okay, I know I can fall down here safely. An item right here. A thousand points. Uh, I didn't even see that bee coming. That's not fair. It was hidden behind this tree. I'm dead. Holy shit. Oh, god damn. Okay, dying resets your score. That sucks. Oh, no you don't. Haha, -ha, see? It's pretty damn cool, isn't it? Okay. Now, this guy is just as easy to fight as always. You get over here at the edge and he can't hurt you. And when that blue orb appears, just get out of the way. He does that a lot if you use this trick. It's basically his anti-cheese maneuver. And sometimes he walks just a teeny bit closer than usual. Like that. Stop it. Yeah, but he's probably the easiest boss in the game. Boom. Can't believe I died in the first level. Wow. And all I got was 2,000 points. Oh, well, it also has to add my time on lives. I got 1,000 points per life? Damn, okay. Still, 5,000 is shit. Now, something that I learned about this first town, which was just told to me in the comments, is that it's possible to get higher than the expected population of Fillmore if you make certain to build only one bridge. I don't know how or why that works, or how anyone's supposed to figure that out, but yeah. The land of Fillmore has finally become habitable for humans. We must now protect the people and keep their lives from being disrupted by monsters. Lord Jehovah, I will go wherever you command me. Defeat monsters? Wait, so please direct me to defeat monsters with my angel arrows. The thaumaturgic circles dotting the land are monster lairs. Well, that's a big word. If you lead the humans toward these lairs, they will surely seal them off forever. See, you can always tell when a translation job is better because they use a lot of big words that most localization teams would just leave out. The localization teams always try to simplify everything. When all of the monster lairs are sealed, the lead monster controlling this area will appear. How do you know that? And once you defeat it, Fillmore will be free of monsters, and become a land for the humans alone. Well then, Lord Jehovah, let us work for the sake of these dear little humans. I humbly apologize for interrupting, but it appears the people here in Fillmore have something they wish to tell you. Okay, so he doesn't constantly tell you that it's unexpected anymore. He just apologizes for interrupting. That's much better. Makes way more sense. Holy Father, here in Fillmore, there is a lot of dense foliage about the landscape, making it extremely difficult to build houses. Please use your lightning to burn down the trees and direct us where you would like us to build. Yeah. I also learned this, this trick. Uh, if you use town direction... Well, I can't use it now, because this bush is in the way. But here, let me get rid of these bushes real quick. Okay, but if you use town direction 
and do this. Then the path will start going down like the angel went, and then go back up. You can build in two directions simultaneously if you do that. Luckily in Fillmore, they don't really do much until you've started building. And I remember that I can shoot, <laughs> so that's good. Yes, yeah, so they start building south, and then they'll build north, and I don't have to pay attention to them. Also, I think I'm going to use lightning on this rock right now, and see if they uncover the spell, like, right away. Because normally they have, they have to tell me about it. The humans have been making a fuss about something ever since that lightning bolt struck. Let's hear what they have to say. Holy Father Eternal, I am here to report to you that we have discovered one of your magic spells nearby the southeast cliff. We humbly present it to you as an offering, so please accept it. Awesome. I'll have to remember to take that later. But there's no point in rushing to get rid of the bushes. I will eventually have to build into the forest, because I think they find something there. We have learned to hunt animals. Now we have the ability to fight monsters. Please lead us to the monster lairs. Okay, I thought I had to lead them into the forest to teach them how to hunt mo hunt animals, but I guess not. Okay, so is this supposed to be them hunting animals? Let's get the building direction underway. There we go, one lair sealed already. The humans have masterfully sealed the monster lair by themselves. It seems that the people have found something in the monster lair. I think that's the same, like word for word. I'm here to report to you that we've discovered a mysterious sculpture. We humbly present it to you as an offering, so please accept it. Yeah, I am actually going to use all those bombs and arrows this time around, but not here. I'm gonna save them for the fucking skulls. Okay, well now that I've already built in that direction... Another interruption. Okay. I have been feeling very strange lately. I have been seeing strange visions in my mind that quite frequently turn out to come true in the future. If this is truly some sort of power and not just a coincidence, then I sense some sort of holy power from the eastern forest. Oh, really? Well then, I knew there had to be something to the forest. But I think... Yeah, I think I sent them to the forest almost immediately, so I didn't get that message the first time. Let's see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you guys this way, and then this way. That saves a lot of time, making them build in multiple directions at once. This first part's a bit slow, just because it takes a while for your SP to recover, and... Oh, yeah, this was a scene that I didn't get the first time. I humbly apologize for interrupting, but yeah, 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 okay. Holy Father Eternal, a fire has broken out in the settlement to the north. Please send rain to put it out. Yeah, I missed this the first time. Ah, oh, but I don't have enough. I need 20. I need to kill one more monster. There. By sending rain showers, you can stimulate the growth of grass and bring dried up fields back to life. Please show me where you would like to summon the rain clouds. Right there. It would seem the fire has gone out. Those humans are always only thinking of themselves, starting a fire themselves and having to come to us for help in putting it out. But I think the humans' foolishness is one of their charming points. What do you think, Lord Jehovah? Uh, wow. I think you better get used to it. Humans will be starting a lot worse things than fires in the future. Speaking of which, I was also told that this land that we're building with only six towns really is the entire world. So I, I'm supposed to just think of the towns as like whole continents. So if this is all there is to the world, it's pretty boring, isn't it? It's not enough diversity, so I've got a lot of great ideas to change things up. You know, get my secretaries in here. Level has gone up. Truly, this is cause for congratulations. Now you're level 2 and you have 9 hit points. Next level will be... 200 people. Yeah, but like I was saying, I have a great idea where we introduce different kinds of other humans, you know? We have all these fair-skinned, brown and blonde-haired people, come on, that's boring. 
How about some people with dark skin? Yeah, that'd be nice. And they'll never fight! It'll be perfect, they'll get along forever! That's a reasonable expectation, right? Also, I found out what the guy was supposed to find on the mountain in Itos. It was supposed to be another MP scroll. So nothing super important, but it would have been nice to have an extra MP. God damn it! Fuck you! What the... Everyone's still building up there. I want you guys to build over there. Hmm. I think the AI for the RTS segments might be a teeny bit different in this version. Am I killing the... Am I killing the blue dragons in one hit? Or, not, sorry, not one hit, but two hits? Yeah, watch. Two hits. What? So, wait, they made killing the blue dragons harder in the North American version? Why? What a weird adjustment to make. I wonder if the skulls will take less hits to kill, too. Really makes the angel arrows seem less useful, huh? Why aren't they building? God, I hate it when they do this. I'm gonna apologize for interrupting, but it appears the people here in Fomo have something they wish to tell you. Hear our prayer. I am here to report to you that we have discovered a scroll in the eastern forest. We humbly present it to you as an offering, so please accept it. Is that an MP scroll? Okay, let's accept these offerings. This year, these are the only offerings that we can present to you, Father. Which will you accept? Shining Sphere? So it's not called a bomb anymore. If you hold this up in the air, it will destroy all the monsters flying about. Source of Magic. Okay, that's still called the same. This is the source of your magic. Please accept it. Fire Magic. So it's not called Magical Fire, it's just called Fire Magic. Makes more sense. That lightning bolt destroyed the large boulder below the cliff. From the rubble we discovered this fire magic. All magic was yours originally, so we are returning it to you. Please take it. That is all we have to offer this year. Thank you very much for accepting our offerings. Now, I have this acquaintance that we don't, um, that nobody in my family, um, associates with anymore because he's insane. He recently got out of prison, and he's been stalking my sister, I've been trying to avoid him. But, when I did know him, he was a crazy evangelist. And he would always get mad when video games, especially JRPGs, would mix Christianity with high fantasy. Like, when I told him about the spell, like the white magic known as Holy in Final Fantasy, he got so pissed. And I was like, Dude, there's no reason to be so upset, it's just a video game. Besides, magic isn't even real. And if it were real, would it be bad if God used it? No, of course not. But he doesn't listen. Because he's crazy. I think monsters might spawn from their lairs less frequently in this version. Before, it used to be that as soon as I killed a monster, it would spawn from its lair immediately. Now I actually have to wait. Okay, this first town really is taking a long time. I guess it's to be expected, considering my low resources. Civilization level has gone up. Now, something I would love to do, but can't because they haven't gained the ability to build bridges yet, is I would like to leave this monster there for last, and just try, just try to see what would happen if I just stayed right in front of it and killed every monster in the lair. See what would happen. I mean, granted, it is much faster and much more preferable to have the humans still in the lairs, but I'm still really curious. It's kind of like this one scene from, um, Skies of Arcadia. There's this boss, which is unbelievably powerful and has like a million hit points. Well, not exactly, but it has way more hit points than you're expected to be able to deplete and also survive. So, halfway through the fight, you're told to do something that will end the fight automatically. It will just defeat the boss without having to reduce it to zero HP. Now, you could do that, but you could also actually reduce it to zero HP. It'll take like an hour, but I've done it. The end result is the same though. 
Still get the same cutscene and the same rewards, it doesn't matter what you do, the result is the same. It's the same here. I'm just curious. Another good example from a game I've actually played is Final Fantasy IV. When you first become a paladin and you have to fight the Dark Knight version of yourself, your reflection, you can defeat it with physical force. It's just really, really hard. And that's the third layer sealed. So now they will learn how to build bridges, right? People have found something in the master layer. I'm here to report to you that we have found a mysterious bow and arrow. We humbly present it to you as an offering, so please accept it, okay? And you also learn how to build bridges. Here in Fillmore, we have developed a wonderful new technology. We have learned to build bridges over rivers. Now we can build houses on the other side of the river. Good. But I'm gonna ensure that you guys only build one bridge. Yeah... Yeah, they changed the way this works. Now they're not going to stop building in the direction I originally planned out for them until they're done. Hmm. Well, there's nothing left for me to do now. I just have to wait. Just sit here and shoot dragons. Alright, there's their one bridge. And I gained a level. Now I'm level 3. So does that mean I can skip Blood Bowl? Go to a different town? 400. Here in Fillmore, we have started fishing. The other day, while repairing the ship on the shore, a fisherman found a scroll. We only present it to you as an offering, so please accept it. Indeed I do. Angel power. This sounds like an angel bow. Okay, real descriptive. Bridge technology. That is the pride of Fillmore, the technology to construct bridges. With this technology, people can cross rivers and build houses on the other side. Now what would happen... ...if I gave the bridge technology to a different town? Can I even? Or it let me? Because there was that one town that learned how to build bridges on its own. But what if I gave them the technology early? I don't know, I guess I'll have to try it out. Hope it doesn't break the game. A hundred and eighty... Four. Fuck that, I'm not sitting around for that. There we go. Lord Jehovah, the humans have masterfully sealed the monster lair by themselves. You know, looking at the priestess or whatever it is who leads the sealing ritual, I always thought that the blue clothing that these people were wearing were like... just trousers with only one strap on. Kind of like what Coco Bandicoot wears. But... I think they're supposed to be, like, sashes. Like you typically see people wearing an old Christian artwork. Something they wish to tell me, yep. Since the final monster lair was sealed, a remarkable thing has been happening. I have been having the same nightmare again and again every night. In my dream, a monster called Minotauros, Minotauros came out of the large hole to the southeast and killed all the people with a curse. Maybe it's because of my prophetic ability, but I feel that the monster's curse has already started to affect me. Okay, I get it now. It is eating away at my very being. Father, before disaster strikes, please descend to the earth to fight and put an end to Minotauros once and for all. And there's the hole. And I guess I'm done, technically. And I could just sit around and wait for them to finish building, but there'd be no point since I don't have all the resources that I want to give them yet. Like earthquakes. So, we're done here. Now, can I go straight to Cassandra at level 3? Let me save first before I try anything. Choose magic. Choose fire magic. That magic shoots fire to your right and left. It takes 1 MP to cast. Now, that... I don't know if it's worded the same, but the way it's worded here makes it much more apparent what it actually does when it's cast. Why did you specify that it takes one MP to cast? Level 4! Too dangerous! Fine, let's try a different area. Level 6? Level 10? And let me guess, Marana is 8. <sighs> really wants you to do these levels in order, doesn't it? Well, I managed to get to level 3, just from working on Fillmore. 
So, if I level up once in Bloodpool, then I can leave early and go to Cassandra if I wanted. But then I'd still have to gain two more levels there in order to go to the next place. <sighs> yeah, they controlled that really well, didn't they? Huh. I don't know, it seems like this game should be a bit more open world than that. Why does it arbitrarily lock you out of levels? Uh, I don't know. Fine. We'll go to Bloodpool. Now, I forget where you find magical stardust. Is it in this town, or is it in Fillmore? Oh, it must be in this town, because I spent a long time in Fillmore trying to complete it. And I know I only had magical fire by this point. Thousand points. Oh, you look different. <laughs> I think those guys are different too. Are they a different color? bother making them different colors. I said it before and I said it again, the enemies in this game are really smart. They didn't do much to their AI in the North American version. Okay, I'm at the boss. I'm gonna wait for that bird to pass by. I'm most likely going to die. But I know how to beat him safely. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Never mind. The first time I fought him, I was certain that he wouldn't jump at me. Okay, seriously? But like I said before, as long as I get this extra life up here every single time, then I don't have to worry about getting a game over. Come on. I, n I know that these enemies aren't any harder than they were the first time I played, so why do they feel harder? the guy speedrun this boss and he made it look so easy. He was jumping all over the place and didn't get hit. Okay, so he always follows the same pattern of up, up, up. Then he switches sides, but he tries to stay on a different side than you. Okay, now that's not gonna work. They changed the shape of the platforms! Oh my god. Did I mention that all the videos I watched, like speed runs and damageless runs, are all in the American version? <laughs> so, I'm a bit lost when it comes to. I'm lost when it comes to life. Usual strategy will not work here. Where's my MP? Didn't I... I'm pretty sure I got MP. 
Where is it? Okay, maybe if I just stand over here in the corner, he can't hurt me. As long as, as, long as I jump over his fireballs. It's one hit. Okay, wow, this sucks. This sucks as a strategy. Nope, can't do it that way. I am so gonna get game over. I did it again. Why do I keep jumping straight into his fireballs? I'm... Okay, so you do have three lives. Just the last life is listed as zero like it is in some games. It wasn't like that before. Are you kidding me? I am pissed off. I should not be having this much trouble with this level. Wow. Uh, I have nothing to say. I mean... I can't even really tell what's different. My memory of the boss layout is pretty foggy, so... I'm, I'm only guessing at the idea that they rearranged the platforms. I can get that one up just fine, but I always take at least one hit in doing so. That bird's easy enough to dodge, just ignore it. Don't do that. Ah, oh, okay. I gotta remember not to do that. <laughs> Granted, I wasn't jumping around nearly as much as the guy in the video I watched, but I, I was I was killing it faster than I did before. I was using the coward's method the first time I fought him. I really hate that. <sighs> you can't see the lizard man from the other side of the bridge. Wait, can I kill you from down here? No, I can't. Also, where the hell is my MP? Pretty sure I got it, unless I forgot to actually take the offering from them in the previous town. Next time I get a game over, I'll go check. Still, the guy that I watched do this, do all the bosses damageless, he did them without magic. It's amazing. Okay, never jump when he's on the middle platforms. Ever. Oh yeah, this is much better. This is how you fight a boss. Yeah. Hmm. 
got him. Uh, uh, that was shameful. That was a shameful display. I can't believe uh, I stuck that bad. Uh, are the platforms different? can't tell. They probably are. Because I wasn't able to do the same thing that I could before. The land of Blood Bowl has finally become habitable for humans. Let us work for the sake of these dear little humans. Humbly apologize for interrupting, but it appears the people here in Blood Bowl have something they wish to tell you. Holy Father, here in Blood Bowl there are many swampy areas unfit for building houses. Please use the power of the sun to dry up the swampy areas so that we can expand. Now, I didn't... I stopped watching the speedrun after the first town. I only watched him fight do like the platforming stages. So first thing I'm gonna do actually is uncover this demon lair over here. So as soon as I get the bomb I can get rid of it. Okay. It's best to start with the top layer if you if you wanna do this quickly. Because you don't have to clear most of the marshland in order to get them that way. You only have to clear some bushes near the lair. So just have them start building in that direction, then you have plenty of time to work on drying up the marshlands. At your own pace. I also need to give them the bridge technology. Now this land will be able to build bridges. Wait a second. Wait a second! This version requires you to use the sources of magic. In the other version that I played, it was automatic. As soon as it was given to you, you gained the MP. You have gained an extra MP. Oh. My god. Why don't I have to do that for the spell scrolls? You know, the devils die faster too. They only take three hits. They used to take four. Why did they make the monsters stronger in the North American version? It appears the people have something they wish to tell you, okay? We are somewhat troubled right now. Our problem is with our eldest son, Teddy. So, wait, the name is the same? I kinda figured they would give me like a Japanese name or something, or spell it T-E-D-I or something. Actually, he's a bit too boisterous. Because of that, he is causing a fair number of problems. I... never mind. Triforce such as these should not be of your concern. I apologize for bothering you. Hmm. Oh, they're at the monster's lair already? Jeez, you guys didn't build anything on your way here. Humans have masterfully sealed the monster lair by themselves. Civilization level has improved. Okay. I'm gonna start changing your building direction immediately. Ah, yeah, but they're not going to, are they? They're going to wait until they've completely built in that direction. Oh wait, no, the cursor's moving. Huh. Okay, it's gonna take me a bit to get how the Japanese version works. People in Bloodborne have something to tell you, isn't that Teddy ran away? Here in Bloodborne we have learned to raise and cultivate a crop called... Rice? Of course. Because it's Japan. And they changed it to wheat in America. Nah. Please share this technology with other areas that do not know how to grow it yet. Yes, rice for everybody, especially jasmine rice. Jasmine rice is the best kind. Except offering rice. Rice patties? That is all we have to offer this year. Thank you very much for accepting our offerings. Ace Penny. Okay, so as soon as I connect Blood Pool to the east, which they'll do automatically as soon as they steal this lair, then they'll give rice to Fillmore. Assuming that that uh, same thing happens in this version. So how many rice items am I going to need to take total? Uh, I think some towns refuse to take it. I'm not sure. But there's four towns other than this one, so I might need four total. No, I'm not worried about it right now. Seems the Blood Pool civilization level has gone up. Yeah, as soon as they build a road there, then I won't have to worry about giving 
rights to Fillmore. Here's the people here in Bloodborne have something they wish to tell you. We have built a road to Fillmore, the neighboring town. We intend to teach the people of Fillmore how to cultivate rice. Yep, okay. Let's change the building direction, or town direction as it's apparently called now. It's down here. Yep, so these are the only layers left. I can just keep my eye on them. I've already targeted this layer here, so... Nothing to do but wait. Okay, now Teddy's run away. My son Teddy has run away from home. Everyone has searched all over for him, but in the end nobody was able to find him anywhere. I am sure that wherever he is, he must be hungry. I have some bread here. Father, wherever he is, please bring this bread to him. Right here. I think I have to take the bread first. I don't understand why it doesn't give me the option of taking offerings as soon as they're presented to me. I don't know. Here's an item. Scrap of bread. I wonder what Teddy would think once he sees the bread his mother baked. Yep. Teddy has come home. After eating my home-cooked bread, he started to feel homesick and came back. It turns out that he did not run away from home, but was trying to discover why the lake is red and poisonous. I always thought of him as a child, but all of a sudden he's grown up. It was quite a surprise. According to Teddy, the poison in the water is coming from the monster lair next to the lake. We offer to you this bleached skull that he found in the cave. Please take it. Yep, and now let me destroy this. After I accept it. Skull of Destruction. That's the only one in the whole game, isn't it? According to the fortune teller, this gem emits a light that will destroy a monster lair. Please do not any monster lair that we cannot see ourselves. Use an item. Skull of Destruction. Something's happening to Bloodpool's Lake. Well, that was fast. Ah, I see. The Red Devil Lair must have been where all the poisonous water in Bloodpool's Lake was coming from. Yep, something to tell me. Here in Bloodpool, we have started fishing in the lake. The other day, we found one of your magic spells caught up in our nets. We humbly present it to you as an offering, so please accept it. Oh yeah, Stardust. Now, do I have to accept the spells? I've already forgotten. Yeah, I do, okay. Shooting star magic. Okay. Now, do I have to use it after taking it, or do I just have it now? I just have it now, okay. So, nothing left to do but kill these dragons until they've destroyed them all. Okay, so it seems to me that in the RTS segments, in the Japanese version, uh, what they'll do is first they'll build the roads that I tell them to build. They won't bother actually building any houses. At least, I don't think they will. Wait, they just said town under control. Oh, there they are. Uh, I, st I still don't get it. But they haven't built anything on this road. Usually they build roads and houses at the same time. But now they prioritize roads and save houses for later. They found something in the monster lair. We discovered a mysterious sculpture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Yep. Holy Father, something terrible has happened since we stole the last monster lair. Monsters appeared from the lone castle sitting alongside the lake, demanding human sacrifices from us. After much hard thought, we decided to pick three sacrifices by drawing lots, and my son Teddy was one of those who was picked. Father, I beg of you, please head to battle with the monsters in the castle. Please rescue our son and all of Bloodpool. Yep, so, there they go. And everybody's sad. So I guess that means they're not going to build anymore? Did I even gain any levels? What the? Oh, for some reason time wasn't moving. Is that why things are going slower? Time moves slower in the Japanese version. They must have made it move faster in the North American version to make it easier. Just as I had hoped, your level has gone up. Truly, this is cause for congratulations. You're now level 4, and you have 11 hit points. The next time your level will go up is when the total population rises to 550. How much SP did I need for an earthquake again? It was 130, right? 
Oh, no. It's less than that. Okay. Oh my god, some of the people that were sad are dead now. Oh my god. But, yeah. Looks like I'm gonna have to do a lot more waiting this time around. To get them to fill the craters. Oh, I already know that nothing special happens from this point forward. It's pretty much just gonna be me cleaning up the marshlands and trying to get to level 5. Trying to get at least two levels per area. And since it's going to take a lot longer for me to wait, it's probably best if I do this sort of thing off screen. Which is why I'm going to end the episode here. I'm already 10 minutes over time anyway. So yeah, this is the Japanese version of the game. Well, translated, but nothing's been removed or edited. It's just the text that's in English now. And it is harder. It doesn't give you a difficulty setting in the beginning of the game, so... I don't know, maybe the North American hard mode is the Japanese difficulty? They've done that sometimes, like with Mega Man 2. Although it was a bit different in that game. But there actually is an even harder difficulty setting called Professional Mode, which you unlock by beating the game. And what that does... Oh boy. Not only are enemies tougher, like they do more damage and take more damage, but all of the one-ups in the stages have been replaced with, like, score items and stuff. So there's no extra one-ups. And uh, I don't think you're allowed to cast spells. I don't think I'm going to be playing that version. At least not on camera. I'll probably try it out myself. But that's all for this episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you want to support me on Patreon, there'll be an end card at the end of the video and a link in the description below alongside links to my social media. So, I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, how did you blow up me and the RC car at the same time? Oh my god, stop it! Stop it! Just get out of the cage. Really? You shot me while I was in mid-air.